Okay, so map is a collection of unordered key value pairs. So you can't count on the order. And this is what a map looks like. So over on the right, we have a map string string. And so the things that are in the brackets is the, are the key. And then the thing that's on the outside of the brackets, the value, right? And so we have a key value. And so here, my map's storing basically name and then the greeting I want to use for that person, right? And each one is a string. And so I store that in a variable called my greeting. So that makes sense, that syntax? I remember at first the stuff was like, you know, I have to think about it. I still have to look stuff up. I don't know what's up with that, right? But I guess until you become totally familiar with it, it's like, oh, yeah, what's the... How do you do that again? Anyhow. It's supposed to be like the equivalent of an object when you're JavaScript. Maybe. How is it different from a struct? So a struct is going to just have a bunch of different fields, and the fields can be different types. So a struct is just a data structure that holds, you know, first name, string, age, in 32. So it's like another level of, like a map within a map. No, a struct, a struct is uh, going to be like uh, an object, more like an object, right? Where then I could create values, and the value would be like Bob, and here's all the data associated with Bob, and then the value would be Rio, and the variable Rio with all the different data associated with Rio. Right? So that's what a struct yeah. would be used for. So a struct, for instance, in this case, each one of those names might have a whole, might be a field with a bunch of could, yeah, so I could have put like a uh, map string and then uh, person if I had a struct called person, type person, right? Mm -hmm. Could be type person. And so each name would be associated with all the data for each person. Or I could have done map int person. So the int would be the customer ID maybe, and then the person would be the struct with all of their data. Mm -hmm. Right? And I have a map that allows me to look up by customer ID all of the data in each struct for each person. Right? Yeah. As opposed to just making a struct to begin with? Yeah, well, yeah, so if I had a struct called person, so let's look at that. So type and uh, person struct. Okay? And then it's going to have, um, let's see if there's one that's already written. Go by example, struct. There we go, perfect. So there's my person struct. And, uh, and I could do Rio. Well, let's do ID. Well, it's got to be, uh, can't be a number. Um, so now we got Rio name, P1. P1, Rio, I don't know. <laughs> and then P2, Bob. And, uh, and then we could do friends. And that could be a slice of person, right? And so we could do p1, p2. And then we could do uh, for So it's going to be, um, we have friends, I, and we could do name, and so that's some syntax there. They make a person. 
person, Bob. P1 colon equal. Ask person name, age. Once those in there, thought you could do it without it. Let's see what it tells me. Expected, comma got curly. Oh, this is what I need. I have to tell it what it is. There we go. Yeah, and uh, so here is you know person that that. All right, so uh, let's see what happens. And as I add more friends in. There we go. No, it's a total error. <laughs> you got to use it. So, so just to clarify, you 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 can you build a struct telling it the fields and the types, and then in line eleven through fifteen, it is that a map. Eleven through fifteen. Uh, here, I just create. Each, so each instance is there. just like a, a, I'm creating a, like a, a variable with the value person and... Oh, that's right. So yeah. this is not a map. I'm sorry. Yeah, and then we could do a map. So let's do a map. So I could do data, our customers, and uh, map. It's make, map, bracket, and it's going to be, I don't know, int. And person, I'm getting this wrong. Dun, dun. Map, maps. Map, make, map. No, oh, I got it right. I think. And uh, it's not liking it. Make, map, int, person. Make, map, string, int. That's fine. All right, so let's see what happens. And now I could do. I want to add to my map. So how do I add to my map? Here's where I delete. Here I just do the values, right? So I add to the map. So I could do uh, customers zero, and that is equal to P1, and uh, customers one, right? That's kind of tedious, so better yet, let me do this. Huh, how do I get the different P's there? So what is the P? The P is uh, is this. All right. And this needs to be I. So I'm adding to my map. And then how do I print my map? Uh, for range over it again. So I could print my map for range for key value colon equals range and its customers and format dot print line key value so that's uh, each entry in the map 0 1 2 3 that's the key and here's the value p1 p2 p3 so we used a map to, to store the key of some number and then a type of person, which I created. That's cool. But then this data, right, is the same data that we'll take and pass into templates. So if I passed in my map right here of customers, I could then start, you know, I could get this stuff and I could say, all right, well, you know, give me, you know, each loop over each of them 
and then each time through I know I have friends I so give me dot name dot age right the value is the person struct and so I could use off of the person struct a dot field to get out that field herky jerky I know it's not the smoothest teaching but looks like some heads are nodding and that's good all right so coding time I can see it in your eyes. I want you all to. Uh, I want you all to. Uh, let's see. I kind of like this thing that we just did here. So why don't you uh, create a struct, even though we haven't got to that there, and then make a map that stores. Um, no, we'll do the struct one next. So why don't you just make a map that stores uh, key value, and the keys and the value will be your favorite word. And, and what the definition is, right? Your favorite word and what the definition is. And then print them out. So like put in three or four different words and how you define them. So make that map.